Saudi Arabia begins their first carbon capture project. A new online tool available for finding the best wind and solar projects. And Norway announces the beginnings of the largest wind turbine development. This is the Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Tuesday, February the 16th. I'm Ben Lack, and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Leading off, Saudi Arabia has announced that they've begun their first renewable energy and carbon capture project in the city of Jeddah. A Saudi Arabian oil ministry advisor has suggested that the country must be very serious about any possible peak in oil demand, which is forcing Saudi Arabia to diversify its economy. The project will incorporate infusing carbon dioxide into Gawar, the world's largest oil field, and these efforts are expected to take place in 2012. Three Tier, a startup in Seattle, Washington, has recently launched a new prospecting tool that lets users analyze data that Three Tier has built over the last decade about wind and solar resources. Users can, for example, review monthly historical averages and high resolution maps, and observe charts displaying specific wind pattern details like strength and direction. Three Tier hopes that their new offering will help energy developers identify the best prospects for wind and solar generation. Their online dashboard lets subscribers explore and compare potential sites worldwide via satellite imagery, modeling, and a simple point and click interface. Customers can pay $150 for a 24 hour pass or pay a subscription for an unlimited use for $500 a month. And finally, Norway has announced that they want to be home to the world's largest turbine. Plans are in place to build a turbine 533 feet high with a rotor diameter of 475 feet. Designers expect the turbine's capacity to reach 10 megawatts, which would be enough to power 2,000 homes. The project is expected to cost $67.5 million and is designed to be three times more powerful than traditional turbine designs because of reduced weight and less moving parts. Tests will be conducted on land for two years before it's sent off to Norway's waters for permanent placement. The country is preparing for a 2011 installation. Do you have thoughts or comments about what you saw in today's report? Please visit dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.